Jamie, aka Gus Nemo, over at the Das 3D Bryce Talk Forum, showed us these rather attractive uh, Mobius loops and also linked us to this tutorial which shows you how to use the sweep command and also a duplicate command, control D, to produce this shape. And I thought I'd have a go at that and turn it into a tutorial. Uh, and I was going to use um, like a hexagon shape and then I accidentally uncovered a way of doing the webs that seems to be a little bit easier so this is more or less that tutorial but with a few embellishments so I'm going to right click and I'm going to use this n cube here which creates like um, a cube with some of the sides filled in and I'm going to get this cross shape selected and I'm going to extrude that so you shell extrude here so it produces a separate object and then hold the shift key down and normal and go one two so that's now that cross section the height of that initial cube so I press space to deselect everything select the entire object and get rid of that cube uh, if I select these faces on here and use the I key for identical that gets top and bottom selected and I'll delete those faces I'm just tidying the shape up now so there's these lines here which are cutting the faces up. I'm going to tidy those away. Well, actually, what I'm interested in is getting rid of the vertexes that uh, that connect these together. So if I switch to Vertex Tool, having selected those lines, and press Delete now, this makes this shape as simple as it can possibly be and still remain that shape. So what I'm going to do is select one of the crosses and then right-click and use the Sweep command and select sweep and X as the other video shows you can modify this using the mouse but what I want to do is use exact figures so press the tab key and enter 2 so that's the height of the cube press tab again for the next little dialog box 15 tab 0 that's the scaling and 30 is another rotation so if I now press enter that gives me my first part of this and then press the shift key down and press D now I need to take this down in, in a complete circle so it goes around and then overlaps itself and overlaps itself again you can just see there that that cross is still selected and if I press the I key now for identical that gets the cross on the other end of this shape then press plus to extend the faces and then delete and that should leave me with a line here that can weld together so if I select the entire shape right click and weld that welds that line together so now I've got if you like a little cross going all the way around the shape the next thing to do is to get my outer edges so select these edges here so there's, there's four of them to select and then press the loop key no control Z not the loop key it's the other one the G key so uh, that takes it around the outside edge I always get those two modeled up um, and then press the face command to select all those faces right click and shell extrude and use normal hold the control key down and go out 0 0.5 so that's on that value at the top left hand corner so now I've got four new shapes as you can see in the geometry graph if you've got it turned on if you haven't window and click on geometry graph to switch that on because we're going to be using this in a minute and those correspond if I select entire objects with these if you like two pair that are going to go and select inside each other so they're going to create the, the webs but before I do that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make them invisible and work on this shape so edge tool here and select one of these outer edges, it doesn't matter, like that and press uh, G so it goes all the way around the object and then press L so and press it a few times to make sure the loop links up all the way around it right click and loop cut and that will cut it into loads of separate segments and then I'm going to select every other segment like so and then I want to bring back in, make visible the outer edges so that's one and I want to try and find its opposite one so that's the one that's going to appear inside there so I'll try that one that's not it that one that's it right click and weld this entire shape together once that's welded together you can see it's selected here I can make that disappear and then switch the other two that were turned off on so that's the corresponding shape that's going to fit inside it select the entire object and sweep everything in and weld that together so now they've got these two bits with the webs connecting them but they've got these redundant crosses so I need to sort that out so press space to deselect everything select face tool select one of the crosses on the inside press the I key for identical make sure they're all selected and then switch to the uh, vertex command here 
and press minus you see what's happening and minus and when these only these outer ones are selected press delete and that brings them into the middle so you can see now we've got those webs sorted out right the next thing to do is to make that one invisible make this one visible and go through the same process so press space to deselect everything select one of these inner crosses press i for identical switch to the vertex tool press minus and minus again then delete so now when I make both objects whoops, not invisible but visible you can see they interlock with one another so if I select them both in turn and press smooth so that's just the S key smooth and smooth again I have now got the same kind of interlocking Mobius strip shape uh, it's turned out slightly differently because of using the cross but uh, you, you know you could experiment with this you could probably produce other shapes and I've already done a hexagonal one so that's like three sections joining joining together um, by starting with uh, a different shape uh, which is, is quite well I suppose I could I suppose I could go through it again so if you wanted to get this far you don't need to watch the rest of this video I'm just going to do it again with a different shape so I'll just file export object and uh, I don't know what to call this. I'll call this Mobius. I can't think of the names for all these things. Um, interlocking loops. I call this cross one. Okay. So I'll just export that. You can see the exports going on in the corner there. It takes a little while. Right. To select these objects. Alternatively, then start with a tetrahedron. Right. And use a face tool. And I just want the bottom face, actually. Yes. And I'm going to extrude that with the extrude command while holding the con uh, shift key down so I'm extruding it too so that's that number in the top left hand corner select the faces deselect everything then select these top faces delete those and now you can see I've got this top face selected right click sweep sweep X tab and in this case uh, distance to again tab 15 again tab tab now this rotation if I use 30 as I did last time, it doesn't produce a single surface. So I need to reduce this value and I found that 10 would work. So that sets me off and then it's shift D to go all the way round and then overlap and overlap again. Press I for identical plus to extend the faces, delete, select entire shape and weld. So I now weld this entire shape. So now these faces go round and it's all one surface which is the essence of the Mobius strip so I select this outer edge here and press loop and that's all the same loops to right click now and bevel while holding the uh, control key down in this case then about at 0 0.7 it produces a sort of hexagon shape and we've got uh, one loop selected and there's another loop available so I'm going to use shell extrude again shell extrude that normal hold the shift key down and go out one and then right click with those uh, sides still selected shell extrude normal control key and go out 0.5 right so you can see that and then press space to deselect everything go for the other surface so use the uh, line selection press G select the face extrude no no shell extrude because I want this to be a separate shape you'll see why in a second shell extrude normal and uh, I want this at uh, shift uh, no no uh, yes it is shift I get control and shift muddled up because the different uh, division so shift D one right click and then shell extrude and control normal and then go 0 0.5 so just watching that and setting that 0 0.5 so now use a shape uh, uh, complete shape selection tool you'll see that I've selected both the outer edges but the outer edges loop back on one another so they, they loop around a few times and I'm just gonna now they're selected here in the uh, geometry graph make them invisible and you can see we've got this this other shape in the middle I just select that entire shape and I weld it together so that's formed if you like an asterisk instead of a cross that's the best description I'm going to use one of the edge selection tool as I did before select one of these edges press G to take it around the entire shape and then press loop a couple of times or three until it's formed complete loops and can chop it up using loop cut into separate segments you can see where this is going now hopefully select every other separate segment and then switch on one of the missing loops which happily and conveniently 
being all one loop because of the number of times the rotation twist put in. So with the cube, you could probably set the rotation so to only form two outer loops instead of four to connect, much as this has in terms of creating three out of six. And I'm just going to weld this shape together. And now it's still selected. I'm going to hide it, bring in the other two, other one rather, I've just been through that, loop to connect up to this one and select the entire shape and weld that together. So we're in a similar position to uh, last time, but uh, press space to deselect everything and then select these asterisks and some press I, you'll see that not all the asterisks are identical. So you have to pick those out a few at a time and keep pressing I until you get some identical shapes like so. Once they're all selected, it's go to the vertex tool and press minus and minus again. So only these edges, outer edges are selected and delete those. So you can see now you've got this three pointed bridge inside. Uh, the center of which is a sort of a hexagon shape and then switch to the other object which hasn't been processed yet press space to deselect everything so select one of the asterisks press i for identical and identical 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 then switch to the vertex tool and press minus minus delete and that's the other corresponding shape turn them both on select both the shapes, press S for smooth, however many times you want, depending how complex a shape you want to do, or you could turn it into like a scaffolding shape, as I've shown in other videos, you know, once you've got to this point, then there's obviously quite a bit of scope to uh, to change it and, and perhaps add additional details. So there you go, that's sort of a, a three section one, and it sort of led me to wondering, hang on, I'll export this file, export object, wait object, and we'll call this one interlocking uh, loop cross hex since it was sort of like a hexagon right what about changing the value on the cube one so that like this one it formed two outer loops instead of uh, the the four that it did before so how's that going to work well, i'm going to create a cube and i'll have to give this some thought so if i do this right click and i'm going to use the shell extrude. I, I really need the cross shape for this if I'm going to do it this way. But um, I, I just need to work out really the process by which how many times you've got to sweep it first of all. So we'll do a test with so sweep X, do that tab. So two's the definitely going to stay the same. 15 is going to stay the same. It's this value here. It was 30 and that I wonder if 15 is going to work. We'll try 15. I don't know if it will or not. I only know when I've got right around the outside. So Shift D, does it link back up? Oh, that looks promising. Right, identical, identical, plus delete and weld. So if I now weld this together, what my hope is, if I select this loop here, that it'll loop around and select the other loop on the corresponding corner. So let's try that. Oh yes, bingo. Right, so this isn't the cross shape I was aiming for though. Will this bevel or is it too? Oh, it'll bevel. Well, it might be another way of doing this then. Okay, I'll keep going. <sighs> if you've already got bored, just switch the video off. I'm just uh, just experimenting now. If I bevel this down, and I don't want those ones selected, I just want these outer edges selected. So G, loop, loop it round. So it's all looped. Bevel, hold the shift key down and bevel it out. So I'm going to have like an octagon shape in the middle. I should have should have like a cross being generated from that. That's created me four on the outside. So if I just select one of these, G and select faces like so. Right. Is that going to give me a corresponding one to link to? I think it will. So shell extrude and shift key down and I'll try and see if there's room to get a one out. That'll do. I'll do it two. See if that's getting too dodgy on the geometry in there. I think so. Just one then. Because in the middle of it, it sort of starts to collide and you don't want that. Which is why I'll only take it out one. Right. So that's one lot and then I'll shell extrude again and do 0 0.5 as I did before by holding the shift key down. Right. And then use uh, that one will be too close. So this one here, G, select face, right click and shell extrude normal shift key one, one, and then shell extrude again, normal and control key 0 0.5. Right. So that's going to give me, let's see if I've got this right now. 
that outer loop and that outer loop which are two separate objects that's good hide those deal with this one on its own so I'll just weld that together right and then uh, select deselect everything space select one of these edges here press G so it goes all the way around so press loop a few times so you've cut it up and then loop cut and hopefully it'll cut it into separate segments deselect every other segment and then bring in one of the outer links here and then weld that into one shape hide that shape bring in the other one that you had selected before select everything and weld that into one shape right so now we're faced with a similar problem oh, I should hope you'll be able to see that so let's see what's going to happen in here so identical now obviously they're not that identical otherwise I'd be able to select them all like I did the crosses so if I get everything selected now and then select the vertex tool and press minus and minus and then delete oh, that's worked out all right hasn't it okay hide that one and bring the next one in select uh, select nothing space select the face tool select these ones select a few of them because they're not identical enough to one another when they're all selected that'll be great okay and uh, I think that's everything then select the vertex tool and press minus minus and delete so that's the other one bring both of them into visibility now and select them and then do whatever you want with them I'm going to smooth them down because that's quick and easy and this video has gone on far too long as it is so there is another variation on that so there you go in just slightly over 15 minutes sorry about that I've created three variations for you to try out so there you go that's the end of the video I hope you found that interesting and not too laborious and tedious and that you'll um, experiment with this in Wings 3D and you know have a go at making this shape and rendering into whatever render engine you choose to use okay then that's the end of the video